Hi everyone, it's Sherry, and I'm here again today with another digital stamp from Just Crafts Digitals, and this is Sassy Snake. I printed Sassy Snake out on some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock, just using my regular inkjet printer. And I decided that I wanted to give my snake a little bit more color, and I decided to draw in some markings on his body. I used a pencil and then I came back in with a Copic multi-liner and um, covered up my pencil lines. And what I did miss, I just took a regular white eraser and went in and gently removed the rest of those pencil lines. So I'm gonna be coloring Sassy Snake with some Copics. And for his face and his tummy, I'm going to be using some YG-03 and I believe a YG-17. Yeah, a YG-17. So I just kind of laid out with my lighter color where I wanted to put my darker color. And then I will come back in with the YG-03 and blend that out. Okay, I'm getting that darker green blended out. I left a white space in the middle, and so I'll now come in and cover up that white space with some YG-03, just to give a little highlight there on his nose. And again, I'm gonna be laying down my lightest color to map out where I want my shadows, if you will, to be. And then I will come back in again and blend out the YG-17 with the YG-03 and then just fill in with the YG-03. I chose some pretty dark browns for the markings on the snake skin. The E-37 and then the E-27. E-27 is the darker marker and I just chose two colors for this because these areas are pretty small and um, I was able to get the look that I wanted with the two colors. So just laying down my E27 and coming back over it with the E37 and I will be doing this on all of the spots. I finished his uh, little brown marking, so now I'm gonna come back in with the YG-99 and the YG-17 and finish up his face and his head. And I will also use these two colors to do the rest of his body. Now you will notice that these two colors are pretty far apart as far as um, Copic blending, but you can use the tip-to-tip -tip technique and the um, lighter YG-17 kind of brightens up that dull looking YG-99 sun. Don't be afraid to grab your markers that are pretty far apart in numbers and try them out. You just never know the result that you're gonna get until you give it a try. Now I did go straight to my image with these without testing them. So if, if you are not comfortable doing that, then by all means, just grab a scrap piece of um, Nina Solar White or whatever cardstock you use and try them out before you go to your image. Um, if you use the scrap, you're not going to lose anything. You're going to throw that scrap away anyway. So I'm not going to show you the rest of this as it is going to be the same. So I'll move on to his tongue now, and I'm just using an R24 and an R29. That is an extremely small area, so it just takes a second. And then I'll fussy cut him out and load his uh, backside with some foam tape. And now I'm just taking a piece of uh, Ranger watercolor paper here, and I'm using the textured side, and I decided to use the textured side since my image was 
um, kind of flat, if you will. I didn't do any dot detail or anything like that on the snake. So I'm using the textured side of this watercolor paper and I'm putting down some broken china, distress ink, and then I will use my distress sprayer and um, spray some water droplets on here and then pick it up with a paper towel. And I'll do that one more time. And now my background is going to be pretty much ready. Just a quick and simple card. So Jess also includes sentiments with her digital images. So I decided to use the sealed with a kiss for mine today. And I'm just going to fishtail one end of it. And then I decided I wanted that to be a different color. And I did not want to reprint it on color cardstock. So I just brought in those same red Copic markers and started coloring my little banner there. I used the R29, the R24, and then I brought in the R27 just to give me a little bit better blend. So I'm going to get this done real quick off camera. And I had some leftover red hearts that I had um, left over from a die that I used on a previous card. And I decided to put one of the little hearts there beside the snake. And I'm going to pop up my sentiment banner with some foam tape. And I'm going to place that towards the top of the um, panel leaving a little bit hanging off and I will just turn that over and trim that off. And now to decide exactly where I'm going to put the snake. And I had two more of those hearts and I thought maybe I would add three of them and then I said no that was too much. So I'm going to peel off the foam tape and I'm going to um, Put him where he belongs. And then I'm going to get just a standard A2 top folding card and use a little bit of Tombow on the back of my panel and place that onto my card base and that's going to be it for today thanks for joining and i will see you again soon bye now